hello and welcome to into so now if this is your first time of coming to this channel please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can get updates from us now question one says evaluate minus one raised to power zero times two raised to power three now from your indices you know that a raised to power zero is what a raised to power any number raised to power zero will give you one so this is one times two raised to power three now this is equal to one times Eight, and this will give you it. So our final answer, it's eight. So um, the second question says solve the equation. And when you have an equation x minus one in bracket two x plus five, already looking at this equation, it's been simplified. So um, it's either you say x minus one is equal to zero, or you say two x plus five equal to zero. So collecting like terms, x will be equal to 0 plus 1, and x will be what? 1. Or you say 2x will be equal to 0 minus 5. 2x will be minus 5, and x will be minus 5 over 2. So therefore, our final answer will be x equal to 1 or minus 5 over 2. Now, question 3 says simplify 4x squared plus 2y squared minus xy and 6x squared plus 2xy. Now, to simplify this, let's collect like terms. This will be 4x squared minus 6x coming over. Then we'll have a minus, we'll have plus 2y squared minus xy plus 2xy. Now, from here, 4x minus 6x squared. Okay, so 4x squared minus 6x squared will give us a minus 2x squared plus um, we'll have our 2y squared minus xy plus 2xy will give us a plus xy. Okay, so from here, we put let's bring our 2y squared first. 2y squared minus 2x squared plus xy. Okay, so now to solve this, Okay, 2 can come out, so we can factorize 2 out, so we have y squared minus x squared plus x squared. Now, this is the difference of 2 squares. You know that when we have a squared minus b squared, this can give us a plus b into what? a minus b. So here we're going to have 2 into y minus x into um, y plus x, then plus x y so this is our final answer you can't simplify it any further now question four says shade a union c complement intersection b prime now first of all let's draw our venn diagram for a union c and this is one this is two this is three so let's call here our a here b and let's call here c okay now let's do a union c complement now remember recall when you're shading a union c complement that means you don't have to include anything inside a union c you have to shade anything that is not inside a union c so this is going to be our a union c so it includes outside the region. So this is A union C complement. Okay, then let me shade our B. So this is A, this is B, and this is my C. So this is A. B and this is my C. So for B alone, I'm going to shade just B. So now A union C intersection B. Now, what is common in between these two plates? Like what can you find here? And you can also find it now. You will now notice for the A union C, the only thing that is common, the boundary that is common is just this plate. This area, okay. This plate is common to both of them. So our final answer for A union C intersection B, it's not going to be this. It's 
I'm going to shade only the B part without entering anything that has to do with C. Okay, so that's our final answer. Now, question five says factorize completely um, the equation you're seeing. So, for us to do this, um, I'm going to say um, 4ab plus 6ac minus 6bd minus 9cd. Now, what is common here? 2a is common. So, you bring 2a out, you have 2b plus 6 um, plus 3c. Now let's check. 2a times 2b will give us 4ab. 2a times 3c will give us um, 6ac. Now minus uh, 3 is common and also d is also common. So we'll have um, 2d plus, um, this will be 3c. Now let's check. Minus 3d times 2d will give us 6. Sorry, this is, um, sorry, this is b. This is going to be b. So minus 3d times 2b will give us minus 6d and minus 3d times 3c will give us 9, will give us plus, minus 3d times plus 3c will give us a minus 9cd. Okay, so now if you notice, 2b plus 3c appeared twice. So you're going to take one, so be 2a minus 3d all into 2b plus 3c. So this is our final answer. These are the two factors. Now question six says a company declared a dividend of K1.50 per share. Musalala, Musalala has 600 shares in the company. How much will she get? Now, if Musalala has 600 shares and Company the one share is equal to 1.50, therefore 600 shares will be 600 multiplied by 1.50. So this is going to give us now. Let's do um our six times fifteen. Six times fifteen is going to give us um it's going to give us that's 15 times 6, this is um, 30, so this is 90, so this is going to be 900, so this is going to be 900k, so that's the amount of Musalala shares, that's the amount of shares she is going to get for having this.